Dr. Philip Madras, who discerned aspirin's heart benefits, dies at 79. Philip W. Madras, a biochemist who is credited as being the first to theorize that taking small doses of aspirin regularly can prevent heart attacks and strokes in vulnerable patients, died on June 8 at his home in St. Louis. He was 79. The cause was prostate cancer, his wife, Dr. Elaine Madras, said. He had taught at the Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis for almost 50 years. Even before his findings were confirmed in a study by other researchers a decade later, Dr. Majerus was taking aspirin daily. I was already convinced that aspirin prevented heart attacks, he recalled in the journal Advances in Biological Regulation in 2014. I was unwilling to be randomized into a trial where I might end up with the placebo. I refused to participate. Dr. Majerus recommended that all adults should take an aspirin daily unless they are among the few percent of the population that cannot tolerate the drug. The cardiovascular benefit of aspirin was fully achieved by 50 to 75 mg daily, he said, and there is no evidence that branded aspirin, which is much more expensive, is in any way superior to the generic version. Later studies found that for people in their 50s who are vulnerable to heart disease, taking daily doses of aspirin reduces the risk of heart disease. In 1998, Dr. Majerus received the Bristol Myers Squibb Award for Distinguished Achievement in Cardiovascular Metabolic Research for his findings, which were credited with saving countless lives. When he received the award, Circulation, the Journal of the American Heart Association, said it was Dr. Majerus who first proposed that low-dose aspirin could be used to treat people at risk of heart attack, stroke and other ailments associated with blood clots. He later theorized that aspirin could also be effective in preventing some forms of cancer, pointing the way to recent studies indicating that daily doses of aspirin also reduces the risk of colon cancer. Philip Warren Majerus was born in Chicago on July 10, 1936 the son of Clarence Majerus, a manufacturer who owned a five-and-dime store in Quincy, Ill, and the former Helen Mathis. He received a Bachelor of Science degree from the University of Notre Dame in 1958, graduated from Washington University School of Medicine and did postdoctoral training at the National Institutes of Health. He joined the Washington University faculty in 1966 and retired in 2014 as a professor of medicine and biochemistry and molecular biophysics. I got my start in biochemistry because of the Vietnam War, he recalled in the Journal of Biological Chemistry. As I was finishing my medical residency at Massachusetts General Hospital in 1963, I had two choices going forward. Either I could go to Vietnam as a physician, or I could become a research associate in the United States Public Health Service at the National Institutes of Health. The choice was easy. Was easy.